Welcome back, everybody. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. You're watching Wicked Sources. Today, I want to share with you a video I found on YouTube uh, relating to cannabis culture and how things are changing, specifically how they're changing among corporations and how they view it. This is really good news. So if you find value in this video, smash the like for the algos and subscribe if you want to stick around for more. Let's begin. A lot of firsts going on. It's because of this woman, Rosie Matteo. She hired Trisha to join her PR firm. They represent 60 companies that all work in the cannabis industry and hope they can help weed become less taboo at other workplaces, too. I much prefer, as a CEO of a company, to have my employees go out after work and consume cannabis and do something together, as opposed to, you know, going out and having some drinks and coming in hungover the next day. So I think people need to look at this as just a different culture now. Cannabis is part of mainstream culture, and we're embracing that as well. Just how big of a business are we talking about? This year alone, cannabis industry in the U.S. will do $24 billion, according to estimates. Five years from now, $100 billion. There are no other industries that are growing at this pace. The receptiveness to marijuana is only increasing. This is the climb in America's support. 30 years ago, 16%. Today, about two-thirds of Americans. So I want to stop it right there. It's awesome. She's part of the cannabis industry in one form or another. And she is setting a new standard. I couldn't have said it better. She's absolutely right. You know, if we go out for drinks, we may overdo it a bit. But we're going to get really poor sleep. And we're going to wake up with a hangover. That day, we're likely to be less productive at our jobs or pretty much anything that we do. And when she compares it to cannabis, smoking a joint or two, worst case scenario, you're going to raid the fridge, but you're going to get very restful sleep and you're going to wake up ready to take on your day for the most part. Of course, that's going to vary from person to person. But when you drink or drink excessively... It's guaranteed you'll end up with a hangover. With cannabis, it will vary from person to person. Some people will wake up refreshed. Some people will wake up groggy. But a hangover with alcohol is virtually guaranteed for every single person. When we look at the destructive nature of alcohol and compare it to cannabis, cannabis is a far better option for relaxation and trying to release some stress. Let's continue along with the next portion. And now some major corporations are adjusting with the times. Amazon, the biggest, saying in a statement this summer, we've changed course. We will no longer include marijuana in our comprehensive drug screening program and will instead treat it the same as alcohol use. In just today, the NBA saying it will not subject players to random drug tests for marijuana this season. Companies are coming to grips with the fact that society has changed its view of marijuana usage dramatically. And laws in cities and states are changing too. Here in New York, a company cannot fire you for using marijuana outside of work hours. And if you're applying for a job, that company, they can't turn you down because of a positive test. But most states have yet to grant those protections. And many companies are able to rely on federal drug testing laws for safety sensitive jobs. Federal rules require substance testing for certain kinds of jobs like truck drivers. Essentially your message to employers is get used to this. The tide is changing. People are choosing cannabis and employers have to embrace that if they want great talent. Matteo is paving the way for some other employers just to get with it. Cheers. Cheers. All right, Vaughn Hillier joins us now on Set Fun. I'm sure that was a fun story to cover. I, I think it's interesting that all of those people were totally cool and fine with us doing the story and appearing on camera. It shows how far we've come, I think, as a country with marijuana. But so this is pretty huge. As you can see, companies are following along, Amazon being one. Now, I did cover a story about what Amazon was really up to. They are expanding their warehouses, and they need more employees. In order to get more employees, they feel that they need to stop screening for cannabis. So they do have a personal interest in getting cannabis legalized in one form or another, and that would be the reason, of course. However, looking at the NBA, they're saying they're going to stop screening for cannabis as well. This is huge. I'd love to see the NFL do the same, uh, MLB, NHL. After all, these athletes put their bodies through a lot for our entertainment. So why shouldn't we allow them to consume some cannabis. After all, it's not that bad when we compare it to so many other harmful substances out there. This is a huge step forward. It did talk about how a lot of states haven't figured out what they want to do 
and they haven't really joined the bandwagon on this yet, but I feel that as soon as some kind of cannabis legalization occurs on a federal level, they will follow along. And the companies within those states will also implement something very similar. For years, I've seen people uh, struggle with random screenings. It's really tough for people who work really hard, they're responsible people, and all of a sudden a test is sprung up on them last minute, and they're stressing out. After all, they can lose pretty much everything. Their livelihood, the way they support their families, their pensions, all because they smoked a joint the day before. And they scramble trying to figure out how they're going to pass this screening. It's time that we uh, put this to bed and move forward as a nation in a responsible and productive manner. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. I'll catch you guys on the next story.